Hi, this is Andy Olson. You're watching Lightcraft, and I'm going through the Luminaire software. This is now episode three, and we're going to talk about scenes in Luminaire. So, what I have set up right now is Luminaire in uh, just a basic mode where I've added one Kino Flow Celeb 450, uh, and that just entails that I have a dimming channel, I have a color correlated temperature, I have green magenta and color. This is basically what the light can do according to Luminaire and the faders to control that light. Um, but what we're talking about today are scenes, which is if you look at the entire screen and then look below this bottom quarter, bottom 25% of the screen, this is where you add scenes and these essentially are the submasters, which would be pretty common in any lighting board. To be able to create a look in the scene and then just say record and you say record to Submaster 1, record to Submaster 2, and then if you bring Submaster 1 up, it then brings up all of those values as a group. So Luminaire does the same thing. Uh, so let's create a look. Let's, let's actually say our first look here. Um, let's, let's just tap on it and call it yellow. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll create a blackout. So I'm just going to fade things out. So we're in blackout mode. Um, nothing's going on. You see all my faders are down. There's no luminance. There's no color. But if I now tap on the uh, down at the bottom where it says add scene plus, I'll tap on that. And then up comes uh, a variety of, of boxes. Let's tap on the brown one. It's totally random. Just picking one. And so now once you're in this scene, you can see the refresh in, in the icon at the bottom left. And that icon then is saying, like, okay, I'm refreshing every couple of seconds. I'm fully, uh, the, the white bar above the box is, is fully uh, whited out, and so that means it's fully loaded, but there's no dimming value. So let's bring up the Kino Flow Celeb. And so we're going to bring that up to about that level. It's fairly orange, as you can tell. My color temperature in the camera is 5600 Kelvin, so it's going to look fairly orange. But now, scene two is recording that. But remember, scene one had no information in it, so let's tap on scene one, and it'll now transition back to scene one. So we tap on scene two, and then that value comes up. So we have this look. This is a, a first look. Let's create another look. So I'm going to add a scene. I'm going to call it this sort of uh, red color. And so while I'm in this box, I'm going to bring down the, that value of Kino Flow. Um, actually, I'm going to bring that up, and I'm going to bring it up to the correct color temperature. And this is now saving in this in this scene. So we're in the scene right now. Uh, and um, we can now transition back to any other scenes. We'll transition back to scene two, transition back to scene one. So fairly simple, but super convenient for jumping to different looks as you want. Let's add a fourth scene. Let's, let's uh, say it's blue and let's jump into some color. We're going to fade up, but leftovers on this Kino are the, it was in red mode, but we're going to jump to blue mode. This left side I'm going to bring down. Okay, so now what we've done is very simply we've created, I'll close that window out, we've now very simply created four submasters. Remember one was, everything's faded out, two comes up warm, three comes up color correct daylight and then four it's going to be blue okay so uh, let's just stick with that for now but let's jump over back over to scene one we don't want it to say scene one and yellow is not really indicative of of really what that scene is that scene is a blackout so now if we come down to scene one and just tap on it very quickly up pops this this next uh, menu in this next menu, let me just bring this light up so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, so up pops this uh, scene menu, and there are actually quite a few options in here that are quite handy. One of them is on the top bar, it says choose image, clear, or it's yellow. So it's scene one is actually blackout. So I'm actually going to tap on the yellow icon that I created earlier. And I'm going to tap on black because it makes sense. It's blackout. And I'm going to rename it by tapping in the name area. And then I'm going to say black. 
and say done. Okay, and then the fade time is 0.2 seconds. Let's just bring the fade time up to say, you know, about five seconds. Okay, and then we'll that'll automatically save. There's no save button. It's it should never have been a save button. Alright, so that automatically saves as one. And now as we tap on two, two is this warm look. So now if we're into this warm look, we tap very quickly on scene two and up pops this. We could choose an image. I'm going to choose the yellow because this is a pretty yellow look. Um, I'm going to do change my fade time a little bit. Now here's the great thing also about uh, Luminaire what it does. You can choose an image. If you tap on that you can go to your photo album, you go to a camera, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, let's choose camera. Uh, let's take a picture. Uh, and I'm going to say use photo. And so now you can see that I've taken a picture of the celeb sitting next to me and it's fairly warm. I'm going to tap on it again and I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to call it yellow and done. So now we have scene one, it's black, uh, scene two is yellow, and we have a picture that represents it. Okay, now we jump to scene three, and in scene three, this was that uh, color correct temperature for 5600 Kelvin. And so what I'm going to do here on the scene mode, since scenes are what we're talking about, I'm tapping on scene. And I'm going to say white because this is a white light for the camera. And now here's another feature that's great about this is you notice these three white. Okay, now you'll notice on the top left there are three little blue dots. If I tap on those, up pops another screen where you can lock the scene or freeze the scene or schedule for your lights to come on at certain times. I'm going to say lock scene. Okay? And this keyboard popped up because I'm still editing the name, uh, which is white. Let me just tap on that top left again. Oh, now it says unlock, freeze, or schedule. I'm going to say cancel. So, now if I tap out of there and tap out of that right bar, you'll notice now on the third scene, it says white and it's locked, so I'm going to actually edit that again. I'm going to choose an image and I'm going to go to gray because I like that more than the, than the blue icon that was there. So now we have uh, scene three, it's called white, it's gray because there's no color and there's no white icon to pick. Uh, I could easily take a picture or use a picture from uh, the camera or use a picture from the from the iPad that's white. But you'll also notice the most important thing is that there's a little lockbox there. And that little lockbox is great because if I'm now in scene three and I want to edit one of my parameters, the luminaire pops up and says it's locked. Do you want to unlock it? Well you realize that you don't really want to change that scene. Then don't unlock it, don't change it. But if you do, just tap OK, and the scene's unlocked at this point, and you can change your parameters. Now, you've got to be careful about this, because once you go to change your parameters and you jump back into that scene, whatever you've changed now has been recorded automatically to that scene. Okay, so the next one we come to is scene four, and this is the blue look. So let's just go through the same procedure here. Pretty much going to lock it. Okay. I'm going to rename it blue. Uh, the image is good. I'm going to keep that image. I'm going to increase the fade time. And now what we're going to do is go back to the beginning to black mode. It's going to take a little while to load that. Slowly faded that out. Okay. Now we're going to go to yellow mode. This is now the yellow fading up, which is scene two, over time. And you see the bar, as it's loading, it will tell you load time. And then we go to scene three, that loaded very quickly, this is our white look. And now four is transitioning to blue, and I think this is a fairly slow transition over to blue. 
much deeper saturated blue, which is right there. And this is locked. So at this point, I always recommend you tap, go to your top left, little three, three little blue buttons there, and make sure you hit lock. And go to your other ones and go to lock the scenes. And go to, I'm going black, my black scene, and I'm hitting lock scene. And that's locked. Now you'll see, oh, I missed it on the yellow one. Oh, it is locked. Oh, it's just hard to see the icon. Or it's hard to see the little padlock symbol. So, all these scenes are locked, and you can transition between any of them.